Now check this out. This thing goes blip, blap, blip, blap. This animation is satisfying. This is a new system tray that we get with the movement to update for Windows 11. This also changes the functionality, how the system tray works. For example, you can't just do drag and drop and hide the icon. No, 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 that doesn't work anymore. To hide the icon, click and hold and drag it on top of the system tray arrow icon. If you do that, now it's hidden. But if you want to unhide it, you can do it two ways. Either drop it on top of the arrow icon or you can put it anywhere you want if there are additional icons available. You should be able to get this update by going into the Windows update and check for update. If there is an optional update, you just download that optional update and you'll have the Windows 11 movement to update. That's what the Microsoft named it. With this update, Task Manager also gets an update. Can you spot it? Yes, it's a search box inside task manager so simply i can search for any app so i don't have to scroll through and find the app let's say for example i want to find a mail app so i can kill it or whatever i want to do if you have a bunch of background processes running in the background i think this is useful next with this update search icon search box bar whatever you want to call it it's rounded now before this it was rectangular now it's all around it. I don't really like to use search icon or search box uh, but here it is. If you use search box now whatever you type actually get typed in actual search box. If you don't like that you can actually use the search icon and label and that way it will get typed old-fashioned way uh, top here. But I think uh, search box is much better but I don't really like to use the search box but if you're someone who likes to use the search on the taskbar go for search box I think it's cool with this update notepad also got a new feature in here we can open multiple tabs yay to get this feature actually make sure that you update your apps uh, from the Microsoft store it's it doesn't get delivered through the Windows update you actually have to update the apps or for example the notepad uh, from Microsoft Store. Snipping tool also got a new feature with this update. Now you can also record your screen. Finally we have a built-in screen recorder in Windows. You know just in case if you don't see this after updating your Windows 11 to movement to update uh, go to Microsoft Store and make sure that you update the snipping tool from Microsoft Store. And uh, yeah, that's it. These are some of the notable and cool features that we have got in this update, in my opinion. But there are a bunch of other features and improvements too. You can go to the Microsoft's official blog post. From here, you can learn more about this update. That's it. Hope you enjoyed it. If you have any questions or have any suggestions for me, you can always do the comment and we can have chit chat in the comment section too. Yes, I will see you in the next one. Take care of yourself and have fun. Bye-bye.